We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you that came and chime into my commentary video. Just know your opinions and thoughts. Always welcome on a comment down below. So, as I always say, make sure you hit the comments and let me know how y'all feel. But today, we got class. Yes, class is in session. And what class we are, you know, giving a session on? Carmen and Corey. So let's go over a couple of stuff from this novel that we all been in tune with. Everyone will have a chance to give their own opinions and thoughts on this topic today. Where? In the comments. Yes, in the comments. So we all know by now, Corey been acting out immaturely on a social media platform to the point he drags the innocent kids of his into the mess on social media. To me, trying to exploit them to gain sympathy or reaction for his soon-to-be ex-wife, Carmen. And granted, he was able to gain a reaction from her. Even though she didn't want to give the reaction, but she was able, like, she had enough. That's what I say, she had enough. And if you want my opinions and you want my thoughts on this, like I say, on the, on the situation of her reacting and giving a reaction you guys can go to my previously last video that i upload on this channel but further than that let's continue so we all know by now carmen had her own channel called all about carmen or was it carmen pritchett one of them where in that channel she worked it very hard like we all know she worked it very hard to gain her following as well make income for her and her kids but it came in day where Carmen decided to leave Corey and then she had and then she had to do what she had to do for herself, you feel me? But he old boy came and snatched her channel from her to the point where he locked her out of her channel and most likely changed her password and erased all her content that she had created and worked hard for on that channel right before her eyes. To the point where she had to re strategize her whole life again. And to see how she was going to be able to make income for her and her kids. She had to start from the ground up. And she did. I can say she did start from the ground up on her second channel. Where now it's called All About Carmen. And God was able to bless her. And give her the opportunity for her to start over again. Because he knows the girl was going to have a rough time overall dealing with Corey. Now, on the flip side. Corey was so bitter. Corey was so hurt. From the whole situation that it killed him inside to see Carmen not crawl back to him, but stand her ground and fight for a better for the better way for herself and get out the toxic situation of the poison of Corey. So he could have fathomed the fact that she was now blossoming blossoming on her own and finding her own self within. So Corey decided to give his channel to who? To who he decided? Bob the Builder Jennifer. Who we clearly all can see, she is obsessed. She has an obsession over Carmen that she built herself to look and act and pose and tattooed and lip fillers and whatever, just like Carmen. So Corey, de Corey decided to give the channel to Jennifer and call it just like Carmen, the current channel. Cause you don't know, they both obsessed with Carmen. He gave her a channel and the channel now is about what? Just like Carmen. Now it's all about Jennifer. So, now that we all cashed up, let me give my opinions and my thought on this matter. And remember, I want to read and see you guys' thoughts and opinion on the comments down below. I love to know what you guys think of this current situation that is that had transpired between Carmen, Corey, and now Bob the Builder, Jennifer. Uh, her having what was once Carmen old channel now is rebuilt and he gave it to who Jennifer herself so let us break this down and let me give my thoughts and my opinion on this map so let's go how can Corey come and sit and say that he cared for his baby mother when in reality he is instead of taking away and ease her life up 
He's applying more pressure, more stress, because he continuously drag her to the filth on social media. And it's disgusting to the fact that he's a whole man and acting like a straight female. You understand? And it's to the point where he say he's done with an immigrant. See, I don't know the status of this young lady, Jennifer. I don't know if she's born in the U.S. and her family's Honduran, Honduran, whatever. I don't know. But she should put to mind, half of her family is from Honduran. And if they hit the U.S., they are immigrant. So if he's on here bashing an immigrant, he is bashing, literally, your background of your family. He's making fun of how your family had to better their life to make ways for their family. And you on here condoning and you on here cheering up instead of, you know, pushing yourself away from this madness because it's like what he did to, to this young lady, Harmony, not at the time he's gonna do it to you. He has a pattern when it comes to women. You is nothing special for him to change his life around. Because what's, what do they say? If that pattern of every female who's with, he cheated on, degraded, and doesn't respect his mother, degrade his mother as well too, nine out of 10, Jennifer, he's gonna do it to you. It's sad because it clearly sees everyone, myself, cause I'm gonna speak for myself, clearly can see you have an obsession over Carmen, of her looks and her lifestyle that you go to the beyond to be with the man that was with your friend because there's a video showing that you was partying with her you was dancing with her right up in her face and what did that show clearly you was plotting and just waiting for her and him to break up but you could slitter your ass into it and like i say it goes to show Carmen, be careful who you call friends and who you let around your circle because they could be the ones that praying to be your friend. It could be the same one plotting on your downfall and plotting on you. But to Corey back again, how can you know me, your kids are with your ex-wife, the mother of your kids, and you continuously, continuously clown her on social media. You continuously make her life a living hell. And then you go down and talk down on other individuals. It only goes to show he is hurt. He is not over her. He just can't fathom the fact that she is not crawling back to him and she finally found herself even if she's struggling now a little bit even if she doesn't can't see clearly what her future gonna be but she's standing ten toes down and she's sticking to it not to go back to a toxic per poison person just like Corey see when, I feel like when they was with each other in a relationship with Mary I feel like he held over her head her status Report, deporting, reporting her back, deporting, excuse me, deporting her back to her country. And so I feel like she was just always scared, so she dealt with a lot of stuff with him. You understand? So maybe the people around her gave her better insight on stuff that she finally just broke free. She finally broke free from that narcissist because that's what he is. And I'm going to stick by it. He could always say, I'm going to cash up your 10000 I'm going to bless somebody. I'm going to do this. Speaking the word of God, but still doing evil shit that do not mix and that do not go as well. I think he needs to seek therapy. He needs to seek a psychiatrist because he's clearly going crazy. He's clearly going crazy. If he wants to see his kids, better yourself as a man. Show her that you change. Because of right now, the mindset that you're in, it clearly shows you're not in a good mental state to take care of those kids because you're mentally breaking down on social media. He's mentally breaking down on social media. And to take her platform that she worked hard.
scars blood sweat and tear on for you to take it away from her you're di he's disgusting he really is disgusting to the point we all know how Carmen Bucan meant for her that's something her Ebony and Kate, Kate or Kathy I don't know her name Kate or Kathy one of them worked it hard to allow to bring Carmen out a shell and to work on something that she could call hers and like she said she enjoyed it herself she enjoyed her time her channel was a channel that she put her all into she put her daily vlogs where she connected to her you know, her fans where she let people in her life as well and here comes this here comes this grand reaper that took everything away from her and it split in the eye instead of giving her back her videos this goofball goes under the channel that he gave the other goofball and he put I'm selling all the boot camp content to a network I know some of y'all really want to watch them stay tuned it's only showing to me he's going broke he could put this facade out there he could put this image out there and he's got money he's the mastermind he is the kingpin when it comes to you know the structure of learning how the algorithm or, or you know masterminding social media whatever but it only shows that he really really don't have that all in him if he has to take his baby mama channel that was hers not his hers and now that he has to go to the point to sell her boot camp content knowing that that's hers not his and she didn't gave him no consent or did not sign off into selling her content to any network it goes to show he's going broke now I could be wrong I could be wrong but the way he's speaking and the way he's talking it shows me otherwise and I give Kat I think that's her name Kat and I've had her name wrong all along I give her the utmost credit of helping Carmen not to break down mentally because of the fact that she's breaking down mentally but Kat is trying to lift her up she's the only female of out of all of her friends that's coming forward and sticking up for her that's coming forward and letting Car um, Corey know that Carmen is not by herself you understand and it's sad because well not only her Princess did as well but I feel like Princess only did that because her and her husband was put in the spotlight on the situation when it came to the kids but Kat been in the front line when it came to when it comes to um, Carmen. She's been in the front line talking up for her. And to the point she took to her Instagram, she says, as one of the writers of Carmen Bootcamp, along with Ebony, is given knockoff, desperate, clout chasing 2.0, from the main character to stealing concept, along with the channel, congrats. You officially won, but you officially won absolutely nothing and she proceeded to go on and attack Carmen and she said keep your head up and the foot on the gas one thing I know about my God he won't fail he is so powerful mighty and strong and can defeat any enemies that try to destroy you he will fight your battles I told you this before and will say it out loud you're about to elevate to another level and each level has its own devils you may have to face but it's nothing compared to a giant they call the most high God. You're the main character and no one else, baby girl. I'm proud of you. Get excited for what's to come. She gives her words of encouragement. She lifts her up. She asks, well, go to the front line and speak what she had to speak to that bastard, Corey. Corey continues to say that. Oh, he's over his ex and one on one to mention it, but he's still in the same breath of air. Continues to mention her. Like, leave her alone. Stop bullying her. 
she's not harassing him he's harassing her and it's like can't I don't know but I will ask you guys that are my subscribers if I'm not mistaken can't she press harassment charges on him for cyberbullying cause that's cyberbullying even though they're married that's cyberbullying but I really think she don't want to do that because she's not like Corey she don't want to hurt her kids of doing that to their father but Corey does not have a heart he doesn't care what he does to his kids mother and how he make her feel because she's no longer there with him I feel like he's obsessed with Carmen he secretly watches her he secretly wants to see her fall to the bottom of the floor but it's not who's gonna be the one to fall off and it's gonna get a real big humbling in this world it's Corey and to Jennifer find your own identity find your own self stop trying to be someone you're not stop trying to compete with someone that's not competing with you stop trying to prove a point stop building yourself to be somebody else because clearly you got all her same tattoos clearly you would never looked at that way because I have a picture she never looked at that way she built herself and made her face into the form to looking like Carmen and it's sickening and it's sad because that's what you call obsession Carmen needs to be careful and how I feel give that girl back her channel give her that girl back her content and stop being a bitch and so bitter that you can't fathom the fact that Carmen will be one day higher than you at the end of the day my commentary my thoughts my opinion I say I'd like to know your thoughts and your opinion on the comments down below because we all in school and this is our session but is it right now it's time recess we could all go out and explore our world until I come back for the next video see you guys around